Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you guys about cables and how they might look like they're fine, but they'll actually create a lot of problems for you. So let's go ahead, let's flip this around, let's go take a look at a Avalon FM20 fetal monitor. Interesting, never seen one of these before, but you never know it's going to come across your desk. And here it is. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so this is the Avalon, and well, you're looking at a unit that actually has a good display. Now, when I got it, I didn't know what was wrong with it. I just knew that it was broke. This display was all garbled. It was going absolutely crazy. And uh, when I pulled it apart, which is simple to do, you see you got two screws right here. You got this little plastic nub and one over here, and the display kind of clamshells open. And then there's four fasteners on the bottom. They're Torx. I think they're T15. This guy comes right open. Ingenious how they have the interboard connects. Fantastic. I actually love the design of a lot of Philips products. Then we come over here and we have the display cable. This is the original one. This is the one that came up inside here. And uh, notice how it's got the protective shielding. Seems like that would be a very good thing, right? Well, the shielding can be a good thing, but it hides a lot of, a lot of problems. So I want you guys to take notice that whenever you have a ribbon cable and you have hard bends in it anywhere, and you can see mine's right here. Now, in reality, up close, this doesn't look that bad. It really doesn't. But when you understand all the lanes of traffic that have to go in order to make that display, those are really fine conductors that are going through there. So all it takes is just a couple data lines to be damaged, and this guy is done. And here's the replacement cable right here. It's very easy to change out, really. And while you're in there, might as well change out the internal battery. But uh, you can see the unit is working absolutely fine. It was a quick thing, you know, and I'm glad that these guys were able to get me the part before I had to fly back to Texas. But here we are, man. Take a look at this. It honestly doesn't look bad. And normally with ribbon cables, you can kind of see when the, the, uh, the lanes are damaged. But uh, this guy here, because of the shielding, it's really hard to tell. When in doubt, always change out parts that interface with the user. That is where they're going to break. Now, it's very unlikely if you don't see any signs of physical damage that the display is actually broken. What does break are the, piece, the pieces that articulate, which is this. It articulates when the user lifts this guy up, puts it down. They probably do that hundreds of times. And this is what you get. You have a cable, which is basically a consumable. Always keep one on hand. If you guys have these Avalons, keep one of these ribbon cables. Just keep it. Trust me, you'll be better off. So what, everyone? Thank you very much. This is going to be my probably last video in South Carolina. I can't wait to get back to Texas. You guys, ribbon cables, buttons, any place where the user interfaces with the device, that's where it's going to break. Always start there. Thanks for watching, guys.